Here is a demonstration to show how Solid Edge can be driven from a spreadsheet. The spreadsheet has already been set up with some values, but nothing else at this stage. These values are being copied across to some of the Solid Edge dimensions, so if we have a look, we can go to Peer Variables from the Assembly, click on a part, and we can see that this actually has a link through to that spreadsheet. So we've got the um, length and the um, width of the RHS. Likewise, if we click on the um, second RHS, we have a link in here. Uh, maybe we want to specify the length is going to be driven as well. So switching back, we can just do a copy here. Going back to our variable table, we can paste the link in and then that drives the model. Finally in here, we also have a pattern to determine the number of um, RHSs across. And that, that obviously is dependent on the length of the uh, main beam. So if we go back into our variable table, we can see in here that we are driving this from the spreadsheet. So we have the um, overall length and the number of um, occurrences on that pattern. So looking at our spreadsheet, um, we've got this um, driven through um, these two variables here. Um, the width of the RHS subtracted from the overall length and um, we specified that we want a span of 800 and um, it's going to work out what the closest match is in here so it's sort of dividing um, the number of um, the length divided by the number of spans so now if we um, take this overall length in here and we change this up to say six and a half meters you'll see that what, what actually happens is that the um, overall length of the um, span is extended and it's calculated out how many um, RHSs are going to be placed in the middle.